In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas produces no insulin at all. This is normally the result of autoimmune disease, where the body's own immune system attacks and destroys the pancreas's beta cells. This can occur at any time in life. The consequences of this are very serious. Glucose is still absorbed into the bloodstream after a meal, but without insulin, it can't enter the cells. Without an energy supply, the cells become rapidly less effective and will eventually cease to be able to function. In the meantime, with nowhere to go, blood glucose levels will rapidly rise. Without treatment, type 1 diabetes will eventually be fatal. The treatment is of course insulin, this time administered as a medication rather than by the pancreas. The development of type 2 diabetes is more gradual than in type 1. In type 2, the body cells become gradually less sensitive to the effects of insulin. Insulin becomes a less effective key for glucose. Some glucose will still be taken into the cells, but it will not be absorbed quickly enough to maintain blood sugar levels within a normal range. Type 2 develops as a consequence of a number of factors. Genetics play a large role, and some ethnic groups are more susceptible. Individuals who store body fat internally around their organs are known to be at higher risk than those who store more, more body fat on their peripheries. There's a wide range of treatments for type 2 diabetes. Some may be able to control their sugar levels by diet alone, others may require medications. Medication should be taken as an addition to lifestyle change rather than instead of. Sometimes it may also be necessary for sufferers to take insulin if their blood sugar levels remain high despite diet and oral medications. 